Um, one thing I'm going to bring up, and it's and it's the old kind of thing. Uh, I think uh, Timothy Leary was the first one to to kind of coin this or really say that out there is set and setting. So, uh, so the setting is of course your atmosphere, making sure you're in a comfortable place um, that that you're not going to get like disturbed by anyone. And this is to do kind of like. Um, the journey of, of psychedelics to kind of do it as far as a learning tool and not just doing it for entertainment. Like you said, it's both are fine, but uh, but what's really important, I think it's actually really important to do it anyways, because the times that I have done it personally out in like raves or, or in public, I've never, I mean, I had fun, but I always kind of had this kind of sneaking suspicion that um, I shouldn't, shouldn't be out in public with it um, for whatever reason um, so the setting is where you're at and making sure you're comfortable and actually with the people that you're with and that you feel comfortable with them and then the, the set is your mindset and this is as far as Gus Spiders was talking about I have bad thoughts or um, just making sure you're you're in a good headspace and not only that but like what, what uh, you were saying about being centered because there's a there's a lot of stuff that are probably going to come up and you got to make sure you're kind of ready for it because I know almost every time I have taken uh, psychedelics in like this set and setting kind of atmosphere, uh, a whole magnitude of stuff has come up. Um, good and bad, you know, they, they talk about waves, ways of like being all really blissful and peak and then kind of going down and um, I shared this one story where my friend he took a lot of mushrooms and he was on his knees and saying, what have I become? But, um, <laughs> you know, you kind of like evaluate yourself and you're thinking, what the heck's wrong with me or whatever. A lot of stuff, too, I notice with, with friends are, are about like family and family drama or if you're not necessarily and that kind of kind of bul bubbles up to the surface. And, and overwhelmingly, I because uh, I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I have always played the the babysitter role or, or the role of the one initiating the thing um, I guess that's probably why I took it by myself so like I would so when I go and do it with someone else I kind of had experience already and so I could like tell them a little bit about it I don't know I don't know but um, every time overwhelmingly I, I, I never really had this maybe one last time that I took it, and it was the last time I took it, which was also this weird experience because I was going through some like personal stuff as well, like with my family. Um, I guess I'll tell everybody, I don't, I don't care. Um, my grandfather was actually really sick at this time and it kind of coincided me taking the mushrooms and he actually passed away that day or at that time when I was taking the mushrooms and I had this whole experience and uh, I knew it, but I didn't know it. Like, you know, I, I didn't get the confirmation from, from a call from my parents or whatever, but during the trip, I had it. And I had this whole experience of kind of like the circle of life. And I was like this one period where I said like some, uh, something like the universe or the a great spirit or whatever you want to phrase it was needing my consciousness. And I was like, it was doing something to me and I felt like this embryo, like I felt like, okay, like I felt like I was getting like reborn and I was going through this whole life death cycle. And I just intuitively understood that uh, at this moment too, my, my grandfather was passing and it was this whole kind of like synchronistic thing that was going on. And, um, but prior to that, I don't know, for whatever reason, um, what I figured out was people always talk about they feel like they're dying when they take mushrooms or, or, or LSD or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. I never really had that experience in, in that sense, or I wouldn't have phrased it that way. But I think what it is, and I talked to, uh, to Gus Spiders about this before one time, and I think it's uh, because they're, they're holding on to, to their ego, and it's the death of the ego. And you have to look, kind of like get over yourself so you could get these messages. And I think this kind of goes into this thing that uh, what we're going to bring up and probably start talking about a little bit more and see what you guys' opinions are is about 
what, uh, what what you said about the age how how old you are when you took it um, because when when you're younger you I mean you're barely getting in to yourself you're barely figuring out who you are and and your ego and so this is kind of something uh, maybe Ghost Fighters you wanted to bring up something what were your feelings about that as far as age yeah sure I mean when you don't really have a full understanding of a drug I mean I guess I probably did compared to some of my friends at the time but when everyone's just doing stuff to do it you know and everyone just wants to have fun with something or see some things and if you don't have any questions or a journey in mind or something you're trying to conquer and you're just doing it recreationally um, I mean like Melissa said that you can have fun with friends or whatever occasionally but when that's all it is and you've never had any other experiences with it or attempted any real rational um, try with any sort of psychedelics and you're just doing that you're not gonna have these enlightening experiences you might even have a better chance of having scary ones because, because you're not really in a state to understand what's going on or what to expect or what you're looking for. Well, I want to just, you know, add on to that there. Uh, there's a certain type of person, I mean, say so you have to um, not have a fear of being alone. And I think Satori did it, a, an interesting thing there by trying uh, psychedelics for the first time by himself. You have to feel comfortable in your own skin. I mean, if, if you're the type of person that needs all your friends around, you need a friend's approval, you need friends. Um, but to be able to step away from that and still feel secure and to have an internal trip that's a whole other level and that that's what you were saying or what I was saying before about a certain age where you can uh, kind of remove yourself from that group mentality and sometimes that kind of uh, you know, maturity doesn't hit you until later when you say well I'm not my friends you know and that's yeah. the effect of it. <laughs> <laughs> 